Good evening and welcome to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This is a blind playthrough. Um, I have read and thoroughly enjoyed all of the books. I have I played you gather before me. Witcher 1 and 2. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. Yeah, we learned at the Wild Hunt. The gods at the end of Witcher 2 forces to slip into our domain. Are actually elves from another world. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Yeah. Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. Yeah, they can, though. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished. Oh, all well, this horrible them. propaganda. Yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Yeah, and, and what's turning your back on Majory gonna do to light. prevent that? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdom? What good would it do? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Ah, the inter eternal fire sucks so hard. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh. It's the time of madness and disdain. Ah, oh, so we have zealots to contend with. Great. Look how pretty this is. This is Game of the Year edition. So, we've got Hearts of Stone, Blood and Wine, and according to my Steam page, there's all manner of DLC that just automatically downloaded. So we'll see how that all plays out. Alright, so interesting stuff. Um, just to give you background, if you haven't watched me play Witcher 1 and 2 and you worry about, you know, wondering how I fall on the sides of things. So, um, both times I ended up siding with the Skoyatel because I'm a big sympathizer with the Skoyatel and their cause. They're just an oppressed people who want basic human rights and humanity time and again has denied them that. So, I totally feel, feel, feel for their cause. In addition, just giving you a heads up now in case you're just now coming on board with this. I loathe Triss. I loathe her. I didn't so much in Witcher 1, but as things went on, it just, it's grown more and more, especially when I consider the stuff she did in the books. Her whole relationship in the books with Geralt in the first place started because, with the help of some magic, she got him into her bed one night, she read his mind, as witches, as uh, sorceresses do, and she found his love for Yennefer, and she wanted that love for herself. So even though Yennefer is her friend, and Geralt is her friend, instead of just going out and finding her own man and getting that love for herself, she decided to target Geralt. And we went through a scene in the book where we find out that, yeah, Geralt was 
He, they had a short relationship, but he wasn't really feeling it. He does not think of her that way. And there's a part where, like, she's super sick and he's, like, tending to her because she's his friend and he doesn't want her to die. And she's mistaking it as love. I'm like, he's traveling, him and, and Siri traveling with the dwarves, and the dwarves are telling Siri specifically, like, don't ever make this mistake yourself, kiddo. Don't mistake the kindness of a friend for love. Because it's embarrassing for everyone involved and it'll just lead to heartache. So we have that. We have, like, when the Lodge has basically got Yennefer in the worst place possible, and Yennefer is saying, like, tell, tell Geralt that I didn't betray him at Thanad. And Philippa and freaking Triss are right there, and Philippa's like, no. And Yennefer's like, okay, um, like, can you at least save Geralt's life? And Philippa again is like, mm, no. No, we're just gonna let him die. And Yen, like, rails at Triss about it, and Triss just doesn't say anything. Like, she's just craptastic. We have that, then we have Geralt's amnesic, and she comes back, and she decides that's the prime time to go ahead and strike up a relationship with this guy who already made it clear he didn't want a relationship with her. Like, you don't have to like Yennefer, that's fine. She's not really a likable character, but I am gonna- Geralt picked her, so if we can get back together with Yen, that's what I absolutely want. I want to respect his decision. He decided she's the woman for him. I do not buy into the theory that they only- have a relationship or any sort of feelings together for each other because of the wish that Geralt made from the genie that ties them together. I think that there's a depth of feeling beyond that. I feel like the story's made that pretty clear. So that's my position on that. You're allowed to disagree, but that's how I'm playing it. Um, but even if you don't like Yen, like I have no room. I have no room for sympathy for Triss. She's a scumbag. She's a bad friend. Anyhow, so just with that warning, I'm not going to be nice about her. Be ready for that. If that's not your kind of thing and you don't want to watch a playthrough of someone who hates Triss, this probably isn't for you. Alright, let's get in here. Okay, fresh start. No, 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 no. Um, I do have my previous save, but I was warned that the import function does not always work that well, and sometimes it will leave out some previous choices, and that if I go through, let's see, Hearts of Stone, main storyline quests are disabled. Why? Why would I want my s no? Blood and wine meet storyline quests. What? No, I want it. Oh, just start. I misread that. Start it with any installed expansions included. Yes. All right. Enjoy a smooth ride. Story and sword. Blood and broken bones. I'm not insane. I could do story and sword because I care about story the most, but I don't know. I feel like I should challenge myself sometimes too. So we're going to try some blood and broken bones. It might be rough. That's okay. That's just how I want to do it. All right. Uh, tutorials can be on. Yes, it's probably a good idea. So, all right. I'm trusting you guys that I don't import it. Um, simulate. Yes. So, it's going to ask me questions. Hopefully. Well, who's that fella? How do I let it know how I want the save simulated? Okay, just be patient. It'll probably be fine. Oh, wow. The horse! Oh, I was hoping he just got- Is that Vesemir? That's Geralt, but... I did wonder after the first one what happened to our other Witcher brethren. We all kind of went our different ways to figure out who attacked Kaer Morhen. Oh, wow. That's- <laughs> That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Is this- wait, 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 is this Yennefer? I can't see what color her hair is. Give me a closer look. We learned that she was held by Nilfgaard. Geralt is gonna be searching for her. No, wait, 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 that hair looks really light. No, here we go. Okay, it was just the ankle. Yeah, this is Yen, isn't it? Oh, but too late, Geralt. You can see the traces of the battle, but where did she go? We gotta find her.
She made it through. If anybody could, it'd be her. Yeah, there's that. The jewel she always wears at her neck. This is totally Yennefer. Oh! I've been waiting multiple games to see you, Yen. Man, I feel bad for the horses. What's with this bird, though? She never had, like, a... No, wait. She did use the bird to send messages, didn't she? I'm thinking of the story where she was, like, she has Geralt hanging out with her, but then she goes to this town where an old lover lives, and she's dividing her time between the two of them because she feels entitled to that. Okay, it's Geralt. I was afraid it was going to show us Triss. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. It's Geralt, there's a disturbing thing in the water with you. <laughs> He's like, wait, what now? You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> Not Tris. Good. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Oh, we have to be at- this is a flashback? Oh, before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. I like how they're keeping the hair covered. So, later then. So we just mm. don't quite know. See you later. No, but that's Yen, right? And this is a memory. He always likes watching her hair. Oh, memories of happier times. Ooh. Okay. I'm really concerned about my previous choices, though. All right. I'm going to introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary. Sounds good. So, use your Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. And for my senses, I need to hold... Oh, and Yennefer was added to my journal. Okay. W... WSDA to move. WSD. I can jump? Holy crap, we can jump, guys. Oh, oh, I'm hitting past... Oh, I skipped some stuff just because I'm excited to be able to jump. Okay, but I can't just... Z? No. Alright, look for a highlighted... Uh, okay. 
I kind of liked the pulse that my medallion set out in too, but this will do. Now why is this one red? Does it mean that's where I really need to go? Perhaps. Alright, let's just wander around a little. Oh, that was the key on the book? Okay, we'll go back to that red jug then. How do we move a little faster? You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Anything interesting over here? Let's look out of our balcony. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. It is. That's quite the view. And the sun's in the distance, that's gonna be Siri training, right? Can we see her from here? Not quite. Hmm, what do we got here? Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Nope. Mm -hmm. Undergarments. She's a sorceress, Geralt. It's important to them to be particularly striking. It's dramatic to only wear black and white. Turn that one off, but I don't care. Ooh, there's her perfume. Lilac and gooseberry. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. You know, I can't but help but feel like all through it, one and two, and he couldn't remember anything. Sometimes scents are very strong triggers for memories. It, it occurred to no one to maybe get a little bit of lilac and gooseberry. Like Triss, who's supposedly Yennefer's friend and Geralt's friend, couldn't try to trigger his memory with a with the scent of Yen. Apparently not. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. But... But this memory is wrong. Because she didn't train Siri here. Triss came to Kaer Morhen to train Siri and realized that it was beyond her ability and that Siri needed Yennefer, so they went to the um, Temple of Melatelli. So, but, I mean, this could be Geralt just muddled with the amnesia and stuff. Um, I do want to see Siri, but I feel like at this point, if this is a happy memory, he's feeling like he's got no reason to worry, someone else is training Siri, it's alright. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known me? <laughs> uh, this is Geralt of Rivia. Only ever thought of you. He gets around, Yen. You know that. All right. Is there anything else to say Not to her? Now. No. Siri awaits. Okay, and I I am looking forward to seeing Siri. So how old is she gonna be when we see her? Like twelve or whatever? Nice and and young back when he first saw her, or more towards the end of the saga when she'd grown some? This is not the way to go. If this is a memory, it's gotta be a memory. I mean, in Witcher 1, Kaer Morhen was attacked and the Witchers basically abandoned it. Ciri was off in another world, last we knew. And Yennefer was a captive of Nilfgaard. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course.
Yeah, she's training. You can hear her, Geralt. Guess she there prefers she practice to theory. Hmm? She's tenacious. What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Had her taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Making her slow through sketch. that brick. No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? She's determined. You gotta How admire her. times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. You guys have spoiled her, but is anybody really surprised? A bunch of seasoned old curmudgeonly witchers, and they've got this bright young kid there, giving them something to do. And she's fantastic. The conversations she has in the book. Siri is, Siri is great. So we have spoiled her, but let's continue to. She's had a hard life. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. <laughs> now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Because you have to use its momentum to spin you around. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? <laughs> All right. Take off the blindfold. Fantastic You've little series. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. <laughs> it will. You're not even sorry at all. And I should be stern with you, but I can't. Because you're wonderful, Siri. She's had a really hard life. I mean, look at her. She's she's lost everything. She's lost her parents. She's lost her grandma, who was ferociously important to her. She's meant to be the inheritor of a kingdom, and she's lost her kingdom. She's lost it all. So now she's embracing a new path in life. All right, going to be a witcher then. So I just can't bring myself to be harsh on her. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> okay, do it now? Maybe if you oh, fall. sprint. And, whoops, pay attention to what the buttons are. I'm trying to beat her instead of actually reading what it's telling me to do. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Where'd she go? Shoot, she got way ahead of me. Or, no she didn't. I got ahead of her. 
All right. Press space while running to leap over obstacles, like a gap. Run into trouble? Not at all. Should I turn back and help you? <laughs> I win. Your legs are longer. I'll show you yet. I just need to grow a bit. That's the right attitude. Hey guys. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? Eskel and Cohen. I'm right? very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> so you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Oh, you little brat. Well, you're a quick study. <laughs> quick, but mischievous. Yeah. It's charming. Fine. Come on. We've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert, Lambert with Eskel. Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Ugh. I want to skip it, but I shouldn't, because I'm probably going to do poorly at combat. Tell me how to do it. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Alright. Witches must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, Feral wraiths or bone crushing giants. Yep, so uh da, 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 da. got a steel sword and a silver sword. We've got our signs, as well as alchemy, so potions, blade oils, and bombs. Yep, that's all the same. Um Oh! Okay, so we're back to the numbers. One is steel and two is uh silver. I can handle that. Z to select or deselect a target. Okay. Given me no choice. One, two, three. Okay, so. Strong okay, strong is left shift. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna remember this. Position, Siri. Footwork. Okay, wait. How do I dodge? I have to hit W. And uh, oh, and Alt. I have to Alt. Okay, I hate that. I. That's terrible. But then I'm taking my thumb off. Okay. This is getting too complicated. Why can't I just like double D or double A like last time to die? Well, that was rolling. Um, fine. Um, okay. Oh, it's gonna freeze until I dodge. Like, do the dodge now. We told you. Okay. Yeah, it's not a roll. Can I roll? Not the same as last time. All right. What did it? What are you telling me to do, game? For this shit. Roll. It told me how to roll and I clicked and didn't do it. Okay. Choose a direction and press space. <sighs> Come here. Whoa, is a fly trapped in ever <laughs> today. Do it again. Fine. Now, and parry. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword it's hanging. <laughs> what am I supposed to parry? She's right, she's fighting with the dummy. <laughs> Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Okay. Don't worry, I'm complaining now, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Come on. 
Okay, let's see if I can get it proper. Now, young lady, yeah. to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witcher's signs. Let's start with Quinn. Very well. Okay. Maybe I should... Hmm, I'm playing on the keyboard, but maybe I should play on a controller. I think it's going to be easier for me to handle all these. We'll see. All right. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Just take the hit. Yep. There we go. All right. Oh no, I gotta hit him. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Very well. There it is. See, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. All right, we're gonna go through all the signs. All right, Geralt. Come on. Okay, time for Ard. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, I need that. Ah. See that, Siri? Ard will knock anyone or anything off balance. Dest yeah, I destroyed your rhythm. Okay. Do I need to knock time you to the Time for There. Damn it. I hate this feeling. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I'm still arting. I thought I clicked Axie. Okay. Stop showing off. Yeah. Axie can really muddle your mind. Okay. Who's next? Erdan now. Show her, girl. Will do. You're gonna hit me. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quinn will dampen the blow. All right, a training bomb. But I can't just Q, even though it's not okay. Oh, he's mad that I didn't hit him. There, try that. Better. Okay. Aim at one of the highlighted training posts. Okay. Too high. I know. It, I thought I didn't know where it would land if you need to aim slightly above or whatever. But I guess right on makes sense. There we go. All right. So I can continue trading with him. I don't think we're going to. Fine. Enough. Continue training and win. Hey, I was sheathing my sword! <laughs> Cheap shot! <laughs> Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. She's just getting the helmet. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Uh, Siri? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. What you got there, Geralt? What the? What's under there? This is some kind of crazy dream, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Vesemir. Ah. I've long awaited this, and you, White Wolf. No, it's it, but no, because they don't want her to kill her. So that's not what's happening. This is just a terrible nightmare. They don't want to kill her. They want her to bear a child for them. That will be even more powerful in the elder blood than she is. 
All right. On the road to Vizima. Oh, I'm so done with Vizima. After the Witcher one. You all right? And the big uprising against <sighs> the non-humans. Vizima sucks. Sucks flotsam. Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Yeah, confide in him. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? No! Jennifer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. We will. I'm not worried about that. But I don't want to cut off the explanation of the dream there. I don't know. What happens if... It... Is this an either-or option, or can I do both? Let's see. If I go down... No, because the, the top one is yellow, so that's continue the conversation. So, we will find her. I am confident. I know we will. That's not what worries Went me. Went across the world to find her once before. Seen we'll her do tracks. it again. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. It's gotta be a painful topic for the both of them, really. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No, it did not. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Siri in your dreams might mean she's in danger, although you're dreaming of a much younger Siri. Previously, the connection you guys had, when you'd see visions of her, it was her in, you know, however she currently was at the time. So, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like maybe this isn't one of those sort of special warning dreams, but I think Geralt would be concerned. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. All right. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. A letter? You've overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Well, oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Oh! <laughs> I thought they broke it. <laughs> Now, what's the correct answer here? I think that Geralt would say it's private. He wouldn't... Would he tell us in there? I don't know. Maybe he'd think it'd be a funny thing to share. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain... situations. Mm. The things young folk get up to. Young folk. Days. That's, that's great that he topic. considers Geralt young folk. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? 
Well, what do you think, girl? Days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the sunset. main road. Or sunrise. Could he did say dawn's coming. There. Whatever. Look at this guy. Wait. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Oh. Okay. Life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles. We're in the Skellige Isles? Well, that's where Yennefer was the last time he went searching for her. Huh. Anyhow, is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. So witchers are still very much needed. All the anti-witcher sentiment seems so bizarre to me, because these are people that... You need them. There's monsters. There's monsters everywhere. Don't you want to have people around whose specialty is killing monsters? Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating you should fight them with your silver sword. Aha! So hopefully I can do better at making sure I'm using the proper sword. I'm assuming that I drew the silver sword. I'm gonna be kind of irritated if not. Get back here. Okay, I should probably get out of the midst of all of them. There is a lot of them. My horse is just hanging out over there. Whatever, it's fine. I'm just gonna eat some grass or whatever here. Oh! Aw oh, man, now my horse is... Getting in on things. Back off my horse. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Let's, yeah, try to art this thing. Or Igni's probably a good idea. Whatever. Alright, well, that didn't go especially well, but whatever. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities will require and consume then. They decline when I'm not in combat. Alright. Of course. Bit of belief here, get that. Pass. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Alright. Generate vitality by eating or drinking. Huh. Or by meditating for at least one hour. Meditation. Meditation! Oh, boy, I messed that one up. Meditation does not regenerate vitality. Okay, eating and drinking. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slot for quick use in combat. Interesting. R or F. And I could press now R now to eat something. And I probably should. All right. Ooh, horse is summoned. Have yours come to you. Press X. Come here. Kind of exciting to have a horse. Come here, come here. Oh, hooray! All of his horses always tell you the about same this name. Sorcerer I knew couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. But just spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. Yep. Must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Good thing to have a horse. Ooh, take her easy. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. <laughs> Alright, well we haven't really delved far into this, but I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time, I think, I think off screen I'm going to try switching over perhaps to um, a controller. I think that'll be easier for me to be able to find, I, I don't know, I'm, there's a lot of keys i got to remember here and I think it's going to be easier if a little more... I don't know how to explain it. The controller fits well in the hands, and I think it's just going to be more natural to me to figure out the movements. So I'm going to probably go back and redo like the combat training off-screen, get a feel for that, and then I will meet back up with you here. We will forge onward, see if we can find Yennefer.